Hi, welcome to Okoy Amster. Today we'll be taking a look at this ThinkCar. It's an OPD2 scan tool, and it's a very new tool. The app itself, the Android one was recently approved. The iOS one is still in the approval process. The ThinkCar has sent me this unit to just evaluate. Now I'm gonna show some of the items, what this can do, some of the features here. I've reviewed other OBD2 devices, scanners in the past, but nothing was as comprehensive as this tool here. This vehicle is a 2012 Honda CRV, and this can essentially work with the old vehicles so that's 2005 or newer. And the OBD port is this one right here. From other vehicles like Honda Core and Mustang or Lexus, they are usually just under the steering column on the driver's side. The key is in on position, but the engine is not turned on right now. And to pair with it, just press it up here. It's going to pair with Bluetooth. It sees it, it's going to automatically connect. Right, so that bar on top is gone. Here I can just show some of the functionality of it. We have a black box feature where I can pick what I want and it'll just monitor it, monitor certain things, generate a report, that way you can pass it to someone else, uh, like a mechanic. And here I can choose the intervals. Record every five seconds, record every 10 seconds. There's also real-time diagnostic. The engine will need to be on for this. The full vehicle module scan. For this, I would need to bind it with one VIN scanning my car's VIN. The device itself allows me to bind with one vehicle free for 365 days, essentially just one year. After that, I'll need to pay roughly $30 per year. I can also bind with multiple vehicles, but each vehicle will cost me an additional $30. So right now I haven't decided which vehicle to bind it with. The device is synced up to my vehicle. Here, if I try to click on the OBD function, this is please insert it, hit next. Nothing. And next again, it just loads. It doesn't really do anything. And this app version is 1.0. Version 1.0.0. One of the really neat functions of this is the real-time diagnostic. So here, I can diagnose my vehicle right on this phone or using their cloud, essentially a cloud remote functionality, I can diagno diagnose the vehicle remotely. Let me just hit start here. So it's going to generate a six digit code. The other person, let's say my mechanic is in Ohio. They'll just need to access this site, place in this six digit code. So let me access the site here. And then I'm going to access the site first. I'm heading to my Think Car. Just click on this. Go to Real Time Remote Diagnostics. And here is asking me to enter the code. So that code was 412585. 412585. I'm going to start remote diagnostics. Now, if I give an access to someone else, like the mechanic that's in Ohio, that code, they'll essentially control the OBD functionality. But on my end here, I can still view everything they're seeing. So on, this is still within the app. It's all grayed out. Nothing is being highlighted. That's because I need to access it through the web. So here I can choose Mine's the 16 pin. So here's all my vehicle information. It's asking me to save a record of it. I do a health report, scan functionality. Let's first do a system scan. Anything this scans, I can also use this to essentially generate a report. It'll be a PDF format. Then I can, or the, the 
mechanic can then save it, print it out at another date, or myself I can save it and email it to someone. So this will take some time to scan. The scan completed, and here is showing everything that's equipped for my vehicle or not equipped. I can head to like the engine here, for example. Read fault codes, clear the fault codes if I wanted, freeze frame, read the data. Let me first go to read the fault codes. And currently I don't have any trouble codes. If my check engine light was on, this is what I'll be using. Let me head back to main menu system here. Each of these scans can take anywhere from five to 10 minutes. So here's one of my previously generated reports. I did this a few, few nights ago and it shows things that requires my attention. Nothing major, nothing that would trigger a check engine light. But for something like this, I can, if there was something major, I'll just take this report, show it to the mechanic, or my mechanic can remotely run diagnostics on my vehicle here. A few other options for their app here. This is more like a, a social event where you just communicate with other folks out there. You have chats. I haven't really given the chat much of a shot yet. There's a lot of functionality. I've only begun to scratch the surface. I usually mostly to just scan my vehicle. I haven't had a need to monitor my stats real time. But for those tuning their vehicles, they, I think they would find this very useful. Now I'll place the link to this item below. This is perhaps the most advanced consumer electronic OBD2 scanner I've reviewed. This is the ThinkCar 1S. It is a car OBD2 scan tool. I'll place the link to this item below. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Awkward Hamster. Bye.